and I went up and down like I ain't get no sense. God didn't tell me that long time so I could have fixed myself and behave. To our live audience, welcome to BTVI, Behaving History. Thank you for joining us and watching with BTVI, Behaving History Month. Come on, let's wrap our hands for those that are watching us live. Man, you all should have told me that long time you all get me running up and down in the sun in this hot black jacket. I could have been behaving. But we come in now, we're going to let the DJ take us with some music. The reason why I want the DJ to play some music is so that the band can set up and play along with it. So give them two minutes and they'll be right on and ready. at this time, there's enough space here for you to do what you have to do so that GHS can come up to you. Come on, let's give final hour a round of applause. Coming all the way from Fox Hill, where their leaders are Pastor George Osborne Fowler and, Re and Prophetess Savalita Fowler. Come on, let of joy, a nation that's free for all, man, women, girl, and boy, a nation to give, a nation to take, a nation filled with reggae, soca, calypso, and break and scrape, a nation of colors, black, gold, aqua, sometimes called blue, can be seen everywhere, above land and under sea too, a nation of democracy and all English styles, but things have sure changed if you look up our files. From outside rock stores to TV, radio, computers, and Wi-Fi connectivity, I'd say that that's a long way from July 10th, 1973. A nation filled with hospitality, love, and history, Arawaks, Caribs, and American Indians are the basis of our nationality. A nation where tourism is number one because of the bounty of sea, sand, and sun. Yes, a nation of youths, sports, culture, uniqueness, and island fashion trends, like Native Androsia, our own local blend, and straw work and junkanoo, the list has no end. This nation of beauty, splendor, and self-defense, yes, is celebrating its own independence, by, Quint by Quentin Sands.
All right, final hour. Two, two, one, two, two. Hey, hey, hey.
Make noise for final hour. Sing your high school. GHS, you are ready? Coming all the way from Yellow Elder. The city of magic. Where they make things come to life. Coming now before us is none other than the GHS pop band. Listen, this is a band to be reckoned with. We have one more awesome band come in, but this one is going to pop your socks. This is going to put fire under your feet. And so coming out to sprinkle some magic dust. You all still, we still got to wait? Man, you all wait on my introduction to tell me wait. I ain't doing that again. When you all come, come, I can say, GHS, come in. <laughs> GHS is where again Miss Roll is. I think Miss Roll being biased with bringing people out of here. These are all people that she started off with. She started off GHS trying to run track, but it didn't make it. And so she decided she'll teach instead. So that's what she's doing today. But GHS is getting ready. DJ, give us some music. Because it's, it's them and then it's CI and we're done. For this segment, oh Lord. Listen, if y'all ain't doing nothing later this afternoon, at two o'clock, CI Gibson, the police ban, the defense force ban, the prison ban, the ban from being town, the Fox Hill ban, the Pinewood ban, anything wouldn't look like it could beat or shake, could be after two o'clock. So if you ain't doing nothing and you ain't got nowhere to go, hang on, we about to go for a ride. We, we getting, we going from better to better. From good to gooder. All right, to gooder. And if Bishop Rowe was here, he'd say gooder. So we get, it can get better. But GHS and NCI for this segment. And so we're trying to get them up and going. Scrape something, shake something, do the drum right there twice. Let me see if it's working good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's the Jack Thompson. Let's check all the instrument. Just touch them so I can know you're preparing and you're almost ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, let's sing. Let's sing some songs. Let's sing some songs. There's a brown girl in the ring. There's a brown girl in the ring. A brown girl in the ring And she looks like a sugar in them Go show me emotion Go show me emotion Show me emotion And she looks like a sugar in them Okay, you know this one? R-A-T-T-L-E One more time. R A T S S N A C. My name is this. My name is. My name is. Chicken galipped the tutun and broke your back. <laughs> ah, how we never know that part of the song, but boy, we went down to that. What else? So chicken. But we had a good time growing up, and you know the sad part is, a lot of our kids are not going to enjoy the things we enjoyed in life, because we buy them tablets, and we buy them phones, when we had to go out in the yard and play games, and shoot marbles, and climb trees, and you get put outside and say, if you're outside, stay outside, and if you're inside, And they're going to miss out. But nevertheless, they will go up saying that they had the best time in their children and their time too. So, GHS, we ready? We ready now. 
We ready now? Some people they blame in you all now. People, are you ready? Yeah, you all know them song. The man in the boat passing through. That is not human. Behemoth is going down Burma Road, going down Burma Road, going down Burma Road. He ain't lick nobody. I ain't gonna lick nobody. That's Behemoth history. They talk about the Burma Road um, riot, right? The Great Lakes Ronnie Butler. Some people, we got it together yet? We're in for a treat. I can't wait to hear this band. They don't know me, but I know them because they go to Government Heights. But I share their stuff all the time on Facebook anytime I see it. Because I think they deserve to be shown to the world. They are good at what they do. And if you all make me talk any longer, I can stop sharing your stuff. So I have people that follow me. I know people who know people. You all need this mic I have? Immediately, immediately, or just like, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one,
tell yourself they got your name everywhere. Because dogs don't back at Papa, no, no way. The only time you're gonna buy is when they're costing you. Because dogs don't back at Papa, no, no way. The only time they're gonna buy is when they're costing you. You never see him back in if the car ain't moving. You never see people talking about you if you girl no well. When you're trying to so tell yourself they got your name everywhere. Because dogs don't back at Papa, no, no way. The only time we gon' buy is when the custom moves. Because dogs don't back at Papa, no, no way. The only time we gon' buy is when the custom moves. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Scully boat, scully, scully boat, scully, scully boat. They bought some mash up. Scully boat, scully. Oh, wait. 
Testing. All right, let's give it up for the magic. Or oh, one more time from GHS Magics. Come on, let's give them a round of applause. All right, all right. Tell me there ain't no but Bohemian music. Oh, man, y'all was good. Jesus, y'all was good. So we have another band coming. Mute the channels, whatever that means. Just don't mute me. Thanks. Another band is coming, and they're coming to knock your socks off. This is the last for this afternoon for this segment until the band from Being Town reach. And they're no other than the C.I. Gibson. Listen, if I didn't know about these bands long time, we had a hot job every party. Now I know. Yeah, I got a little gigs for y'all, man. Y'all can make money. Big moves. So coming up next is none other than C.I. Gibson. This is a pop band too. C.I. Gibson pop. You all in popping? This is a pop band? Okay. C.I. Gibson pop band. They're going to come. This is the last. Miss Jennifer Johnson and Roll. Are you coming with a vote of thanks? She say thanks to everybody who come and sit in the hot sun with us. She say thanks for coming and staying till the end. She appreciates you. All these schools. C.I. GHS, Final Hour, um, Gerald Cash, First Step, the storytelling lady. Um, are you all even give me the name for the woman? You are so wrong. The storytelling lady with Bookie and Barabi. She says, thank you to everybody. Thank you to Miss Dean and Miss Bethel and everyone that gave them the opportunity to pull this off. C.I. Gibson, I doing all this talking, waiting on you all too. Come on, C.I. We're waiting on you. Okay, so we can either set up a CI too. So y'all, um, give us a couple minutes. We gotta mute some things and pull the plug. And put some other things in place. But thank you for coming. You're being a good audience. Give yourself a round of applause. How many of you are ready for lunch? Lunch time is the best time in school. Okay, all right. Lunch is being prepared right now also. The DJ is going to entertain us for a bit until we get these things up and going.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are taking a break until 2 o'clock. So you have just a few minutes. Okay, I know we called for a break, but I, I miss someone that, that is here and, and wants and needs to come on because we invited him, and so we want to honor our invitation. And since all of us can't move one time, know how, we're going to call, is it AAMC? AMMC. He's going to come and he's going to present to us this time. Come on, let's give him a hand of a round of applause as he comes. Come on, we're still here, we're still Bahamian. Ain't like we know how our son go. Our son different from all the sun in the world. However, that fix. At this time, AMMC. Good afternoon. My name is Dion Sims. I'm with the Antiquities, Monuments, and Museum Corporation, the AMMC. Now, how many of you, show of hands, especially the young folks, how many of you know who the AMMC is? I see no hands. Yeah, that's because we're not that popular. We are the premier conservation agency in the Bahamas. We're the ones who protect the environment and we encourage research in archaeology, and we promote the historic sites. In other words, we run all the historic sites, all the forts, the museums, all of that. We're the ones who you call if you're planning to go dig for treasure. Yeah, we have to send an archaeologist with you. So we're pretty important. Now today, I'm here because 
we're going to talk a little bit about promoting the sites. And one of the things we do to promote the sites is, is that we try to tell a story that most people may, may or may not know about. And the story what I'm going to talk about today is about the West India Regiment. Anybody ever heard of the West Indian Regiment? I take it not. Okay. So, the forts. Anybody knows who would have been in the forts? Who would work at the forts? Anyone? No one? Soldiers. So, being that the fort was built in the 1700s. What color you think these soldiers were? Who said black? Why do you say black? Okay, technically the soldiers would have been white. But here's what happened. During the Haitian Revolution, the British, who were helping out the French, they found out something. They found out that all of their white soldiers were dying from a disease called yellow fever. And all of the Africans who they had helping their soldiers, the porters, the servants, they were not. Because they were immune. So what Britain decided to do was, was that they decided that they were going to get a regiment of black soldiers. They called the West India Regiment. Now... How did black people get to this part of the world? Anybody want to? No one? Slavery. That's right. So the first black soldiers ended up being people who were enslaved and freed from their enslavement. And then the second set, well, what they said was, was like, when you get any new people in, if you get some strong people, we want them to be soldiers. Now, most of the English governors who they had at the time, they weren't on board with this. Because the last thing they wanted to do was be treating people badly during slavery and then give them one of these to walk around town. But that don't make sense, right? Okay. So, what they started to do was is they started to import people directly from Africa, from Sierra Leone. And they dressed them in something called a Zouave uniform. See, y'all think people is teeth ideas now? They used to teeth a lot of ideas back then. Zouave is actually what they used to call the French uh, North African troops. Now, we're talking about British soldiers now with a French name. So what I want is, is that I want a volunteer. Yeah, yeah you. you. Yeah. See, volunteering you, I want you to come, yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go, high job. Let's go, bro. Come on. Yeah. Someone on the stage live there, huh? All right, come. Come down here. All right. Now, what I want you to do is, is that only I want you to just try on this jacket, this vest, and hold this rifle for a second. You game? All right, what's your name? Tiberia. All right, Tiberia, hold on. How's that? It's cozy. It can get hot pretty soon, right? Okay. So you're from Africa. But how, what is the weather like in Africa? So you, how do you think you're going to feel in that? You feel hot and you have to carry weapon. All right. Yeah, there you go. No, turn around. Let him see you. Okay. So here's the thing. The Zoabs, when they came on, you know what they used to have them doing in the Bahamas? Whenever there was a slave revolt... These are the guys they would send in to make sure the slaves went back to work. Right? Um, these were the men who also helped out with the police. You know the guys sometimes when we have like something going on, like how we had Caracom recently, and they had the defense force helping out? They would help out with the police to secure the area. You hot yet? You 
Getting hot? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So you can see this wasn't really a comfortable uniform. Now, let me tell you what made it even more uncomfortable. These peop these men were supposed to be free. They were not free. See, when you signed up to be in the West India Regiment, you couldn't quit. You signed on for life. And you only got paid half of what the British soldiers got paid. Okay. Now it gets even worse. Let's say you got married. Yeah? And you had children. Where do you think you were going to live? Um, I would still be on the field. Well, even though their records show that there are some West India Regiment soldiers that actually moved in the Grandstown and Bantown, when you got married as a West India Regiment soldier, you lived in the barracks. And your wife had to clean up for everybody and had to cook for everybody. And if you had children, the little girls, they had to work too. And the little boys, they put them in school to become soldiers. Now, how many of you knew anything about this West India Regiment? So now you see why it's important that we come down now. I'm going to take that out. Now, if anybody else want to try and feel this weapon, you can take off the jacket now. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Because see, we're going to talk about this weapon. All right. Uh, you almost fall down. Thank you, Teferia. All right. So, now, you see how... Uh, but that weapon's pretty heavy? Yes. Okay, show me how you think you load that weapon. Show me how you think you load that weapon. How you put the bullets and the guns on TV? How you think you put the, the bullets in that one? Hey, you have a lot of hard mouth now, you know. You, when, when you hear call up, you didn't want to come. No, not you, him. Uh, yeah, you can't figure that out, right? All right. Okay. This is a weapon called a brown bess. To load this, you got to load it through the barrel. So you see today, like, ah, oh, we got them short guns where you just put the bullet in the side and clack, clack. No, none of that. So you had to put your gunpowder down in the barrel. Then you take out your ramrod. That is if this will come out, because it might be. Yeah, the ramrod is stuck. So you take out this ramrod, and then you would, and then you would, and then you would put in some pardon. Tie it yet? And then, after doing all that, You had to prime it. So you had to put gunpowder in here. Close this down. And then when you fire, it might fire. There was no guarantee. Because if a little bit of sweat got on that gunpowder, that wasn't going to work. Right? Oh, and you only get one shot at a time. So you got to go through the whole process again to fire. Right? So we have a lot to be thankful for in terms of people surviving, going through all of this. So that's why what I recommend is, is that today, um, that you make a plan to come out to Fort Charlotte on Saturday. Because on Saturday at 12 o'clock, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Rangers will be dressed up in the, the Zoab's un uniform, and we will be doing a cannon fire and simulation. It's at 12 o'clock. Yes, ma'am? Right. And it's only $3.30 per person. That's including VAT. Hmm? Yeah, 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 go ahead, try it out. Now, if you notice this jacket, you, haven't, you notice anybody who is wearing a jacket similar to this? No. The police. 
You didn't notice this look like a police tonic? Yeah, no, 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 not quite. Yeah. All right. There you go. Well, whatever way you want, hold it. I mean. All right. So, what questions do you have, if any? Anyone? No one? Yeah. Yes. Oh, they, they weren't going to play around with the weapons. No, no, not with the weapons, because then you need your people to survive. They had a little bag. They had a little box. You had to. What are you doing laughing here again? It's the most difficult question. Are you going to do this? Well, I dreamt that we really didn't bother to say whatever we wanted. So this is why they have like two hundred people to to like sit in quiet and make sure that this guy doesn't turn up and make us run. So you never notice like on the old movies they love. Yeah. All right, well, that's it. Thank you so much for having me today. And please enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. That was, was definitely informative. Okay, so we can take a break now. We can take a break now. I think they're serving lunch. And then we'll be back with all the bands in Nassau. For those of you that love bands, thank you for, for your attendance again and for your attention. See you in a short while.